Anyway. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're here at ICAST 2018, checking out all the new fishing products, especially a lot of the new kayak fishing products and a lot of the new kayak fishing boats. I'm here with Marty Zovinger. I'm sure you guys know who he is if you watch kayak fishing videos on YouTube. The guy's been blowing up, he lives in a boat, super cool to follow along. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, everything from not just the fishing, but the whole lifestyle. You know, I live in a trailer, he lives in a boat, a lot of similarities. Absolutely. Super nice guy, he's the king of DIY. <laughs> Thank All you. right, that's, that's enough introduction. But so, we are here in the Pelican <laughs> booth, checking out the new Pelican Catch 130 HD. That's it, you got it. Pelican Catch 130 HD, the first pedal drive kayak yep. from Pelican. From the, the, the company that invented the pedal boat. Remember, they, they took side by side? Yeah, the this. actual, right, yeah, right. This, that was like 50 the years ago. The original pedal drive, yes. that was the original, we yeah. Finally got on board. Nice, so it's gonna be a similar design. We're gonna show you guys what this looks like. Very budget friendly for what you're getting. And Marty here is gonna kind of run us through this boat from bow to stern. All right, let's do it. The Catch 130 is a uh, twin sheet thermoform boat which means multiple layers of plastic are welded together and they turn it, they, the layers act like uh, plywood. So a piece of wood by itself, not so strong. Lay, multiple layers of wood make right. plywood, which is very stiff and strong. Makes sense. The plastic is the same way. And they use a high density polyethylene. The two pieces where it comes together, it's welded shut or welded together. And you can see there's a sample here that shows uh, the two pieces where they come together, and that's now one piece. Right. It's not going to separate. It's like two pieces of metal welded together. It becomes the strongest part of the boat. So it's a really good plastic. It's not going to come apart in the seams like a lot of people worry about. Yeah. So that's like the thing I get asked the most about like thermoform boats is like, isn't that going to come apart after a year or two? And I've like, I don't even think I've ever heard of that happening. I mean, I'm sure, you know, defects now and then maybe, but I've never heard of it happening. So definitely a common concern that I would definitely not worry about. This one is made with some new features that you guys might recognize. Uh, one of the things is the the drive system. Like Robert said, the uh, this is Pelican's first pedal drive boat. And they're not using a propeller like many other companies are using. They're using what you guys formerly knew of as the Mirage Drive. It is the same idea. Uh, the patent has expired, so it's now free market. Everybody's allowed to use it. Pelicans jumped on it immediately. The timing was right because they were getting pressure to make a paddle boat, and it just, everything fell into place as if it were meant to be. So this is the drive system. It's got fins, not, a, not paddles, or a propeller, rather. And it's very similar in all regards to the old system that you guys are familiar with. One thing you're not familiar with, though, is a, an affordable version of this. Pelican is making this 12 and a half foot boat available come January of next year for $14.99. That price point is kind of unheard of. These are good things that are happen, happening for consumers, uh, so we're really excited about it. And I got a thumbs up from the guys, some guys that worked at Hobie, Hobi, so. It made me feel good because I, I love their company. I think they're innovative and uh, deserve all the accolades they get and the money they get for their products because Hobie's stuff is really, really good. Yeah. Um, so kind of form of uh, flattery is imitation, they say. So. Right, right. Um, but Pelican knocked it out of the box. They, yeah. they said so themselves. So why don't we talk about uh, just, you know, pedal drive aside, people are familiar with the design. Now it's an affordable package. Why don't we talk about just kind of like the boat, the layout, accessories, the deck. Up front here, there's a, a tank well, kind of, sort of. I mean, for lack of a better term. Yep. It's a very large area that you can secure stuff with bungees. Ooh. Oh, isn't it sexy? <laughs> there's no hatch up front, but there's room for you to add one if you wanted to. But if you have a boat and it's got a front hatch, you know that you don't really use it too much when you're on the water. It's hard to reach. So, yes, it's usually whatever's under your seat or behind you. Right. That's the stuff, you know, that you're reaching for the most. So you got a big tank well up front, a nice flat deck area right in front of the seat. So standing is a piece of cake. You know it's real stable. It's part of the catch family of Pelican kayaks. Uh, so it's got a twin hull kind of uh, flat Cat bottom. Yeah, style hull. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Very, very stable. Uh, that type of boat typically doesn't track very well because it has no V bottom, you know, it, it, which sometimes causes resistance in the water. It doesn't have that, so it's fast, especially with this drive system. But um, again, it usually didn't track very well. But this boat has a steerable rudder. Here's your control right here. 
which makes the uh, the rudder move around. And with that, it's gonna, you know it's going to track perfect. So yeah. this is going to be a really uh, functional boat in, in all regards, I think. It may not be the fastest boat in the world because it's so big you know, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. wide. Um, but, you know, if you're on a kayak and you're chasing fish, I mean, give me a break. Right, right. You know, you're not going to do you 25 go miles an hour. You want to go hurry the wrong vessel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. The, the seat here um, leans back. While you're out there, you can kind of just slide it back, and then you have this whole platform for oh, fly nice. fishermen and stuff. That's um, slick. I like that. Yeah. It's one position, but it's the only position that I ever used my seat on my catches before anyway, so yeah, I don't think that's an issue. It is a very dry seat, which is a big issue yeah, if you're on a Yeah, that is important. Yeah. You know, so you can be out all day long and not get your butt wet at all. Yeah, the seat looks really nice, really comfortable, really well made. Yeah, a lot of little things, you know, like pockets and places to put pliers and stash or, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple spots here for Plano Taco Boxes. Looks like yeah. also cup holder, kind of built into that. Yeah. Kind of use either or. Indeed, and it comes with the track systems. That'll be part of it. Uh, not the Scotty Rod holders. These are just here for, um, you know, just to show you what you could do. It looks like, what, four tracks kind of right here in the middle, like right in front where you're reaching for stuff. Yeah, and it also has four flush mount rod holders. Nice. One of them is forward facing, which I thought was kind of silly at first until I started I'm using familiar it. With this. In Australia, everyone does it this way. But really? retying lures and stuff like that, yeah. everyone does it or this way. Or take your fish off or whatever. Yeah, I thought they were crazy, but... Uh, it is a good idea. Yep, yep. The back behind the seat, you have another enormous tank well. Plenty of room here for your biggest tackle bags or whatever you need. Another pouch in the back of the seat. Yeah, you'd have plenty of room here to hide your crate here, have a like soft cooler here if you wanted. Yeah. So you could also install a hatch here if you needed to. You can. This rope here makes the rudder go up and down. Somebody came by after I had thought that the this might be a problem of the, the line being on the outside of the boat. I thought, you know, wouldn't it be better if it was inside? And people who have had boats with these lines on the inside say, no, no, no. When it's inside and it breaks, you can't you're, get to it. You're, yeah, and you're, can't you're, reach you're it. done when you're on the water. Here, like this, if something came apart, you can easily fix it on the go and just keep going. Go back about your business. Yeah, people love the simplicity fish. of this. Yeah, so I like it too. And, and you know, it's something that I think I had concerns with rudder styles like this, where I'm like, ah, but I'm going to snag my lure on it all the time. So it's never happened. Like the right. fish, if the fish is back there, you're, you're not going to be swinging them up. Like you know, it does. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a non-issue in other boats I've been with that same design. Okay. Uh, this prototype right now has a hatch in the back. This is the most likely finest way to the production model. Uh, but I know that there are some very small things they'll be tweaking on this boat. But all in all, what you see is what you get. Come January 2019, this boat's going to be available for everybody. Underneath the boat, you can see the, uh, the shape on this uh, 12 and a half foot catch has been modified to allow for the fins. So when they're all the way up and you come up shallow in a few inches of water, the idea is that this part is going to hit first and save some trouble uh, if you were ever to hit the bottom there. I've done it with the Hobie and never had an issue, but this should help that yeah. even, even more. That's smart. All right, guys, so pretty slick platform here, like budget-friendly, fin-style pedal drive. If you guys saw my the review that I did on the Pelican Catch 120, you remember I was super impressed with that boat. Great paddling boat. This is a very similar platform. Looks like the same hull design on the bottom, but they've kind of integrated it with the fin style pedal drive at a price point that really anyone can afford. So you said this is gonna be coming out January? Indeed. 2019, January. January of 2019, MSRP of $14.99 for a fin style pedal drive boat, super stable platform. Uh, this is slick, man, it's exciting. We're making a lot of people talk. Yeah, yeah, like he said, you know, uh, this was originally Hobie's design. They have a patent, the patent has expired, so it's now free market, and as you know, with anything from pharmaceuticals, anything, as soon as that happens, uh, the consumers always benefit. So, affordable pedal drive system here. It's exciting, man, it's exciting. <laughs> Thank you. If you guys are unfamiliar with Marty, get out from under the rock you've been living under, but uh, <laughs> check out his channel. That link is down in the description. Yeah. Killer ki content. Again, not just sky fishing, but just super humble guy, and he's living in the boat, and he's, he's shared that whole process. And I enjoy it. I love, that's the best part, man. When yeah. you're having fun and you love something, you want to share it with everybody. Yeah. I have Absolutely. a lot of fun, and I would love Absolutely. to share it with you. Absolutely. Check it out, guys. Can't recommend it enough, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks for taking the time. It's always fun seeing you, man. Appreciate it. It's a slick, dude.